Hello guys, this is Gameplays, I'm Fabio Pisco and today I'm not so happy to bring you this video because me bringing a ranting video is not a good sign because I am I do not identify much with ranting videos and so for me to do a ranting video, well, things aren't going great. Okay, this ranting video is about the new Adrenaline 2020 and you know what? Adrenaline 2020, at least in my case, have broken the free sync, which is a crap. I've searched on the internet, on Reddit, for example, and many people have been having the same issues. It happens that I installed the Adrenaline 2020 and I was going to make a video and blah blah blah, um, but the, um, as soon as I installed, I, I noticed um, some kind of a difference, per se. And that difference, well, was in the smoothness of the gameplay. I was, I was watching the... Um, I wasn't watching. I was playing, for example, I think it was Borderlands 3. And I was playing the game and I, I kind of felt like the game was a bit choppy, a bit... It was kind of stuttering with a bit of screen tearing. And I was like, hmm, maybe this is kind of a um, placebo effect and I'm just imagining things. And well... It passed. On the next day, I was I was playing Assassin's Creed Odyssey, and I noticed a bit of screen tearing in the bottom of the screen. And I, once again, I was like, well, maybe it's possible effect, and I'm imagining things. I wasn't imagining things, yeah, sadly. And well, it happens that I tried everything on the new drivers, and I can't seem to make FreeSync work properly. I have a 34 inches ultra wide, 75 hertz, 1440p ultra wide, so 3440 per 1440. Um, and I can't seem to make it work, at least on my monitor and on my card, which is the RX 5700 XT. I can't really make it work. All the games are stuttering, if even, if for example I... I limit the FPS to let's say 60, 66, 73, whatever, the games will stutter and most of them will have screen tearing. So what fixes it? Returning to the previous driver. Yeah, well I am not mad per se, but I did notice, for example, that in Borderlands, the older drivers have higher performance, have more FPS and are, um, and are way more stable, the frame timings are also better. So why go, for example, to the new drivers? You can't just simply make new drivers and say, here, take some new features, and then the older features that people were already using are broken. That makes no sense. Really, no sense. And FreeSync is one of the bases of the AMD GPUs. So that is a thing that AMD has to take care of before launching the drivers. But well, it is what it is. Concluding, go to the driver 19.12.1 if you go for stability, if you go for better performance and if you don't care much about features. Wait a bit more till we get new drivers to fix, for example, the free sync issues and then upgrade. Before that, I myself won't upgrade at all. Well, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe and share the video because that is really important. And the next big video will be 2 cores versus 4 cores versus 6 cores versus 8 cores for 2020. And this will include simultaneous multi-threading and not. So 2 cores, 2 threads, 2 cores, 4 threads, 4 cores, 4 threads, 4 cores, 8 threads. And well, you get it. Thanks a lot and see you in the next video. Huh?